Hello everyone, welcome to iBasiac and welcome to another vacuum cleaner demonstration. Well, typically it's raining outside, so I thought, what better way to spend a few hours than to demonstrate a vacuum cleaner? So that's what I'm going to do. Today's vacuum cleaner is the SIBO K3 Premium Eco. You may have seen me unbox this on my channel a few months ago. Well, I thought it's high time I gave this machine a thorough demonstration. So during the course of this video, we're going to test how well the machine cleans carpets, how it does on hard floors, how convenient it is to use on the stairs, and how easy it is to change the bag, amongst other things. So without any further ado, I'm going to take you on a tour of the machine, point out the various features and functions, and then I'll start the demonstrations. Well, here it is, the SIBO Airbelt K3 Premium Eco Bagged Compact Vacuum Cleaner. And as you can see, it is a very dinky little machine, so it's ideal for smaller homes. It's not going to take up very much storage, although you do have the power head to store as well. I'll be showing you everything in more detail in a minute. Being an eco version, it has a low wattage motor. This machine uses 700 watts for the suction, but it has a separate motor for the power head, which uses 175 watts. Okay, let me take you on a tour of the cleaner itself and then I'll get some demonstrations done. The SIBO K3 Premium has two onboard cleaning tools, one located on the top of the machine. This is your upholstery nozzle for cleaning your upholstery, your stairs, your curtains, etc. And just on the back of the cleaner, located in this slot here, is a full-sized crevice tool. So that's an extra long tool for getting down the sides of your chairs, in between your car seats, and all those nooks and crannies. Now you can use the crevice tool on its own, but in order to use the upholstery nozzle, you do have to slot the crevice tool into it. This SIBO has an eight meter cable, which is quite generous for a compact vacuum cleaner. You simply pull out the cable, plug the machine in, use the machine, and when you want to store the cable away, there's no button to press, you just give the cable a little tug, and the flexi winds automatically into the cleaner. Wrapped around the full circumference of this vacuum cleaner is SIBO's air belt system. Now, apart from protecting the cleaner and your furniture from knocks and scratches, it also diffuses the exhaust air. The exhaust air vents out of the front of the air belt, so you don't have a blast of hot air like you do with some cleaners. Often you'd have a grill on the top of the machine or on the back of the machine, but with SIBO, because it diffuses the air all around the air belt, you don't have that blast of air, so it's not going to blow dust around. On the underside of the cleaner, you've got three swivel casters, which give excellent maneuverability. So apart from being able to pull the machine in a frontward direction, it will go from side to side any way you want it to go because of the swivel casters. It's better than a machine that's got fixed wheels at the back because a machine with fixed wheels, you can't actually move it sideways. So it really is a very maneuverable little machine. Of course, being a SIBO, this is a bagged vacuum cleaner. To access the bag, you can just simply remove the bag door and you have SIBO's Ultra Bags. They're quite a small capacity, but you are able to fill these right to the top before you need to replace them. This is a machine meant for smaller homes, which is why it has a smaller bag. Obviously, it would have a bigger bag if the machine was bigger, but this is a compact vacuum cleaner, so often with compact cleaners, you do have to have a smaller dust bag. Under the bag you also have hospital grade S-Class filter which can be replaced from time to time and it's very easy to replace the bag. It simply slots into the top here and then you pop the bag door back on and when you close it the bag engages with this little collar and locks firmly into place. Before the exhaust air leaves the cleaner through the air belt, it passes through this filter here. Again, that needs replacing from time to time. I've used this cleaner a little bit, so it has gone a little bit black. That's due to the carbon dust from the motor. It's not actually dust that's passed through the bag. This is the main on-off switch on the vacuum cleaner. You'll notice it hasn't actually turned on yet. That's because all the controls are in the handle, which I'll show you in a moment. And here is the handle of the vacuum cleaner. It's got a comfortable grip, 
and you've got all the controls you need here. So it's got a setting from naught, which is obviously the machine switched off, down to maximum. So it's just a single slide control. This is Sebo's ET1 Powerhead, which comes supplied with this model, as well as the E3 Premium, the D4 Premium, and of course, Sebo's Felix Upright range. It has a four position height control, so you've got a low position for your stuck down carpet tiles and low pile carpet, all the way up to setting four for your longer pile carpets. This is the underside of the ET1 Powerhead. You have a little access flap here that's easy to open. If you get a blockage, it gives you a bit of access into the air path. And you have an easy to remove brush roll. So if you've got long haired pets or long haired people in your house, often the brush roll can become tangled up with lots of hair and it reduces its efficiency. With SIBO, upright cleaners and their power heads, you can remove the brush in one easy motion without needing any tools. On this particular one, we have a button here that we press. This end cap comes off and then we can slide the brush out for easy cleaning or replacement. Once you've done that, slide the brush back in and pop the end cap back on. And finally, this is the SIBO Combi Nozzle that you also get supplied with the SIBO K3 Premium. This can be used on hard floors with the brush down but you can also use it on more delicate carpets and rugs that you can't use the power head on. Before I see how effective the SIBO K3 Premium is at carpet cleaning, I thought I'd come into the kitchen and see how well it cleans hard floors. So I've put down a mixture of flour, rice and rolled oats and I'm going to test both floor heads. So I'm going to test the ET1 power head with the brush roll turned off down one side of this mess and on the other side I'm going to test SIBO's combi nozzle. So it's the ET1 power head first. I'm just going to move it forward and back through the middle of this dirt. Now on the whole it's removed all the rolled oats, I can't see any of the rolled oats left. There are a few grains of rice, but as you can see, it's left some of the flour. Okay, so now I'm going to take the SIBO Combi Nozzle and do exactly the same thing down this side. Let's see if it does any better than the ET1. Mm. Well, it's a bit of a polar opposite. It picked all the flour up, no problem, but it has done what a lot of nozzles do. It snow ploughed the larger particles. It's picked up most of the rice, but what it's failed to pick up is the rolled oats, which is a bit surprising. I thought this would do better. I'll just go over it again. I'm just going to try it on a slightly lower setting. No, it's still snow ploughing, um, it's still leaving some of the dirt. Let's just try it just normally, as you would normally vacuum. Now, I noticed it did quite well up to the edge, so it seems to have very good edge cleaning. But on my particular floor, now this won't happen in every floor, this is a vinyl floor that's not completely stuck down. And I have found in many demonstrations that the suction's been so powerful it's actually lifted the floor up, which has made it snow plough more than it would normally have done. Hopefully I'll be getting a new kitchen floor soon and I'll be making sure that it's one that is stuck down all the way around or possibly I won't even have a vinyl floor. So results will vary depending on your floor surface. But certainly the combi nozzle did better on the fine particles but the ET1 with the brush roll off did better on the larger ones. 
For my next test, I've come into the living room and put down a load of dirt, all taken from various vacuum demos. So it's a combination of dust, dog hair, rice, bits of paper, you name it, it's on this carpet. And I thought, just to see how well the ET1 head performs versus the straight suction combi nozzle, I thought I'd do the same as I did in the kitchen. So I'm going to go down one side using the straight suction combi and the other side using the ET1 power head. I'm pretty sure I know which one is going to produce a better result, but we're not going to know until we see in person what it's going to do. So, first of all, it's the combi nozzle I fitted to the end of the extension one, so I'm going to pass it forward and back. Just two passes, and then follow up with the ET1 power head. In both instances, I'm using full suction power. So that's the 700 watt straight suction and to be honest it's not a bad result. It's got most of the surface litter it's left a few bits and pieces here and there, but what it hasn't really touched, and I didn't expect it to, is the threads and fibres and the pet hair, so it still looks quite dull. Okay, let's compare it now using SIBO's ET1 power head. I'm pretty sure we're going to see quite a difference. Yes, there is a difference. Not as much as I was expecting, to be honest. It still looks, it doesn't look as clean as I was expecting. But I have actually got the power head set on setting 2. So I'm turning to setting 1 now, which is the lowest setting. I normally use it on setting 1 for this carpet, to be honest. I'll just pass it through again and see how well it does. <laughs> Yes, just moving it down one setting has certainly made a difference. Okay, well, what I'm going to do now is pass it over the area I cleaned with the straight suction nozzle, so it should pick up everything that the combi nozzle didn't. So, definitely, all in all, the power head beat the straight suction nozzle, but that's no surprise. In the majority of cases, a machine with an agitator with a revolving brush will out-clean any suction cleaner. Now, one thing a power nozzle will do that no straight suction cleaner can do is actually agitate the carpet. I'm going to move a bit closer with the camera and we'll just see how well this SIBO ET1 power head actually agitates the fibres of the carpet, i.e. vibrates the fibres. Now, you want good agitation to help dislodge deep down damaging dirt from your carpet. So if we can see the particles bouncing up and down on the surface of the carpet, it's helping to draw up deeply embedded grit, which is a killer for your carpets. If you leave the grit in your carpet, it can cut away at the fibres as you walk to and from over the carpet. You're treading on it, you're compressing the little gritty particles, and eventually they're cutting into the fibres of the carpet, which can cause premature wear. That's why the old Hoover cleaners back in the day had the beats as it sweeps as it cleans action which was designed to bring the damaging grit to the surface of your carpet so the brush and suction can remove it. Okay let's test the agitation then of this SIBO ET1 head. the camera picked that up you can actually see mainly the rice particles bouncing up and down as the SIBO power head passed over them so it does prove that the brush roll in this power head has quite good agitation.
Because of its size and shape, you can put the Sebo K3 Premium on a standard step. It will stay there quite securely. You can also carry it, of course. It's not too heavy, so it is possible, because it's not obviously not going to reach right to the top of the stairs. You can carry it in one hand while directing the nozzle in the other. And of course, having the on-off switch and the power control in your hand, it does make things a bit more convenient. Let's just see though how many steps we can actually reach with a machine safely at the bottom of the stairs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can safely clean seven stairs with a machine safely at the bottom. Now, this is what you can use for stair cleaning. You can use the small nozzle connected to the crevice tool, of course. But if you want to give your stairs a really deep clean, it is possible to connect the power head directly to the handle like this. So now you're going to give your stairs a very deep grooming action that you don't normally get with a straight suction nozzle. So unless you get very heavy traffic on your stairs, I wouldn't need to do this all the time, but maybe once a fortnight, once a month, use the ET1 power head on your stairs and you'll get a much better result. Before I sum up this Sebo K3 Premium Vacuum Cleaner, let's see how effective the automatic cord rewind is. Now Sebo are a quality made German manufacturer and they have a five year parts and labour guarantee. Sebo are very reliable machines. Many people have had Sebos for 20 years and they're still working. Because Sebo comes from a commercial background, they know what they're doing when it comes to making reliable, robust vacuum cleaners. This machine is relatively lightweight, it's compact and it has a fantastic power head in the ET1. So if you want a deep cleaner that will deal with pet hairs effortlessly, then this is one I would consider. A few niggles, the bag capacity is rather small and it does reduce the suction as the bag fills, but only when the bag is you know, nearly full to the top, you might notice a reduction in the suction. And the bags are a little bit fiddly to change, but it's, that's just a niggle. You do get that nice little green cap that you can cap off the bag when you remove it from the machine. So when you dispose of the dirt, you're not getting any dust flying up and breathing in. All in all, yes, it's a good machine, but I will say I used to own an 1800 watt version of this and I did find the suction power of that was better than this 700 watt motor. Now the one that came before the Eco version actually had a 2100 watt motor. So it did have more suction power. That's my own personal experience. So at the time of making this video, the UK public will be voting on whether to stay in the EU. Now it was an EU regulation that forced manufacturers to cap the wattage of their vacuum cleaners. Now whether we come out of the EU or not, I don't know if that's going to change. We may still have low energy vacuums or if we do come out of the EU, we may get high wattage vacuums again. I don't think anyone really has considered that or is bothered. There are other more important things to think about when you're voting. But anyway, I'm not sure how I'm going to vote yet. If it means more expensive SIBO vacuum cleaners, I might vote to stay in, but I don't think we're really going to know what's going to happen unless we do it. So, enough of the politics, back to the vacuum. Yes, it's a thumbs up for this cleaner. I do like it. It's, it gives the benefits of a powerhead cleaner, but in a compact body. The powerhead is very manoeuvrable, gets under your furniture with ease and it's so easy to push, it's almost self-propelled. You'll be whizzing around your housework in no time using the ET1 powerhead. So all in all, it's a fantastic little machine if you can still find one in the UK. You should still be able to buy this in Australia and the USA. But it has been superseded in the UK definitely and certainly in Germany if you want the superseded version that's the E3 Premium has the same power head but it's a completely different body shape and lots of other little new refinements so possibly if you want a power head cleaner that's compact look at the E3 Premium I'm hoping to feature that on my channel at some point I haven't got one yet but that's that's one to get 
for the future. If you like this video, please subscribe, please thumb up, and if you've got any questions about this vacuum, please ask in the comments section. So until the next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.